girlfriend songs there. Yes, that is Rachel Platten from the My Little Pony movie soundtrack. And before that, Anna McNewfriend from Lewis and Dan and the Invisible Band. So, Anna McNewfriend. I have old friends, Anna McNewfriend. Yeah. Or Anna McNewfriend, either way. Um, <laughs> we're going to play some music coming up from The Greatest Showman in just a little bit. And Saul Paul helping out Lucy Calentari. One of my favorite songs from her, from her uh, recent EP. The title track, in fact, What Kind of World? You will find out in a little bit. Yeah, one 328 2345 is the phone number if you would like to call in and play along with us on the telephone. We're always happy to have you. we got somebody holding on the line right now to talk to a llama. Somebody's on the phone! <laughs> Hello, thank you for holding on the line there and your llama speaking. How may I help you? My name is Zoe. Hello, Zoe. What are you doing today? I just got home from school. Oh, that is good. Did you learn anything really exciting at school today? Um, we're learning the days of the week in Spanish. That is very good. How do you say Friday in Spanish? Um... I don't remember how to say Monday. Well, that's a start. How do you say Monday in Spanish? Lunes. Okay. Can you say no touching the llama in Spanish? No, we don't have it learned that yet. Oh. Uh, I'm going to go with no tocas la llama. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's right or not, but that's what I'm going with. Okay. Okay. I have a question. Okay. Do you know the singer Taylor Swift? Well, I don't know her personally, but you know, like, you know, I know, I know her. You know, I don't know her, know her. I mean, there's yeah. rumors that, like, she's a big fan of the llama, you know. Do you know her song, Shake It Off? I do know her song, Shake It Off. I do. It's in the movie Sing, and it's it, one of my favorites. It is a good song. It is good. It's also good advice when leaves or debris falls on your fur. <laughs> you shake it off. That's what happens. That's what you do. Yeah. You know, you know leaves and debris. You know debris, right? Debris. Uh huh. You know debris. Uh huh. On your fur. You know debris on your fur. Yeah. You ever had that happen? I know her two ex-boyfriends. Oh, oh, you mean Taylor Swift? Yeah. She has ex-boyfriends. Uh huh. Wait a minute. She's dating the X-Men. No. I didn't know that. I didn't know she was able to go out with superheroes. No, she likes other singers. It's not the guy with the long fingernails and the claws and stuff, is it? That would be bad. No. Okay. I'll just tell you one of them, and one of them is Harry Styles from the British band One Direction. One of them is really Harry? No, I'm Harry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Harry. Well, that's, the guy with the claws is pretty Harry. I hope it's not him. <laughs> Did you say he had a hairstyle? <laughs> he does have a weird hairstyle, too. Yeah. <laughs> well, but it's a little funny because it's actually his first and last name is Harry Styles. Oh, Styles. Styles. <laughs> but not hairstyle because his name is Harry, but he's not Harry. Yeah. And, and Styles, but he's not styled. But he is styled, but he's probably not styled. <laughs> Do I know what I'm talking about, Zoe? I don't know. I don't know either. I don't think I know what I'm talking about anymore. Actually, I'm not really sure I ever really knew what I was talking about, but somehow we got to the X-Men. <laughs> and we started in Spanish. Not much to say after that, is there? Okay. Okay. Thank you. You are very welcome, and have a good day, and thank you for not touching the llama. Okay. And if you ever want to date any of the X-Men, don't date the guy with the claws. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, goodbye.